Gabe, Cliff Ravenscraft here from PodcastAnswerMan.com, and I just wanted to respond to your email with a video. Since your questions were related to video in uh, gear and stuff, the first question you asked, I said, you said that I want to do high quality video for YouTube self published content, Udemy courses, etc., and also do the podcast. Is there a way to merge the equipment so I don't have to buy separate pieces of audio or video? Well, first of all, the email that you said said that you're thinking about taking my podcasting A to Z course, and these are the kind of questions I could go into a little bit more detail when we're in the course. Now, Gabe, I want to tell you that my focus of this course is not how to do stuff with video. It is how to create an audio podcast, but I'm happy to answer any questions that you have that I might have the answer to. Now, with that being said, I do know how to do quite a bit of things with video, but I am limited to my own experience of what I've done in video. Um, whereas with audio, I have my own experience, the things that I've done with audio, plus working with thousands of other people who are doing things in audio podcasting. So I've got so much experience with audio podcasting when it comes to video cameras and all the different options and gears and hookups and stuff like that for you. I'm simply going to only be able to draw from my own experience there, which is, you know, that I've, I've done, I've been playing around with video, uh, and, and doing video production since 2007 back when uh, the first video application was available for Facebook. So I've been playing around, but uh, only been taking it seriously uh, recently. But the question is, can is it possible to kind of uh, double up on equipment so that you know you what you're buying for your podcast can also work for your video? And that's exactly what's going on. So uh, right now, I would think now this is only 720p video, but uh, I am speaking right into my Heil PR40 microphone. This is the same microphone that I use for my uh, podcast production. I'm able to pipe in audio effects like this. Welcome to another episode of The Family from the Heart, a podcast that is devoted to giving you a behind. I'll go, I'll go ahead and stop that there. But uh, you can see that I can, I can play audio effects into the show. I can do everything I can do on a podcast and also send it out to video if I want to. Uh, now, I'll tell you, creating an audio podcast, it's already, it's its not super complicated if you're a technically minded person, um, but I have been able to take the people who are the least technically minded and help them learn how to use a mixer, a microphone, how to bring in audio effects and all of that stuff. I've been able to take people who are, when they pull a mixer out of a box, they're like completely hit with this brick wall of anxiety and have them actually learn how to create a podcast and feel comfortable, uh, somewhat be well, somewhat comfortable within a relatively short period of time during the four weeks of the A to Z course. Now, when you add video to the mix and all the other different pieces of gear, um, it can add uh, quite a few levels of complexity. So, for example, uh, one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm sending audio out of my mixer into a headphone amplifier, and I'm actually bringing a patch cable from the headphone amplifier. And and bringing that from a one quarter or yeah one quarter inch stereo plug into a one eighth inch stereo plug, which actually is going into the microphone input on my camera that I'm looking into right now, uh, that I'm recording into. Now I am not using a DL DLSR camera. Di yeah, di digital. <laughs> anyway, DLSR DS. No, it's DSLR single lens. I don't even remember what it stands for, but I have a Canon 60D, which is nice. Um, I know that there are some better cameras out there now that have autofocus. I, I'm just not that big into video. I'm not that big into photography. I just, I, I have found some things that work for me. I am currently recording this into a Canon Vixia HF G30 video camera, which I love. Um, now I, I can tell you right now, I don't know how I could do depth of field where I look into the camera and it has that nice blurred background with this camera. I can definitely do that with my Canon 60D, uh, but with my Canon 60D, it's going to give me, um, it, I, I have to actually stay still once I, once I start recording. So for example, if I get everything set up where I'm in focus and the background's really nice and blurry, you know, that it's called a bokeh defect. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But anyway, you, you might be actually. But anyway, if if I was to record a video and then lean in, I would be out of focus. Or if I were to lean back, I'd be out of focus. Whereas with this camera, 
not a problem whatsoever. And uh, But anyway, th- there are some newer cameras out there. I think the Canon T4i or maybe the Canon 70Ds or whatever. I, I don't know what they are, but some of them now have autofocus capability. So I could go like this and it would actually refocus on my face, which is uh, kind of cool. I, d- I don't know the answers to those questions for you, but can you... Um, use some of the equipment that you're using for your podcast for video production? Absolutely. Can I record a screencast video onto my software? Uh, if you've seen any of my tutorials, go to just go to learnhowtopodcast.com, learnhowtopodcast.com, click play on the first video. You will see that I actually did a video there that's using this microphone. So yes, you can you can use a lot of the same equipment that you've purchased for your audio podcast and bring that audio into your camera, provided that your camera has an audio input jack or a microphone jack on it, a one eighth inch jack. Um, And like I said, I know that the Canon 60D has it. I know that the Canon HFG30 has it. Uh, What other cameras have or don't have, I don't know. But I know that what I'm doing works with both of those. All right, so let's see here. Is there a DSL camera with exceptional lens that you would recommend? I use the Canon D, uh, 60D. I love it, but I don't use it for video production just simply because, well, I prefer the Canon Vixia HFG30 uh, for video production. It's, it's, a, it's made for video. Um, I can record more than 10 minutes with, a, with the DSLRs. You're actually limited to, I think it's 10 to 12 minutes, and then you have to stop and continue. Um, I, I'm just not a huge fan of, of DSLRs for video production work, but I know many people who are, and they can actually provide a superior video quality as well as far as the effects. As far as video quality, I don't think they'll do any better than my this camera here. If I were to record straight into 1080p, you'd be blown away, blown away by the quality of this particular video. The question next is, can I use the ATR mic uh, in conjunction with the DSLR to produce good audio quality? So give me a second here. I happen to have this right here, which is an ATR 2100. And if you were to get this cable right here, and I'm going to hold this up to you. And again, I couldn't do this if I was using the, the really nice blurry thing. But that right there is an XLR input that goes right into this microphone. And then it goes to this right here, which is a 1 8 inch, inch jack. And that could plug right into the camera. And yes, I could speak directly from this microphone into the camera if I wanted to. And this is a really long cable that I've got here. I think it's 15 foot. And that would go directly into the camera. And yes, I could use this if I wanted to. So uh, let's see. That answers that question. Um, Do you know or have any more video resources that I can take advantage of? I don't know of any additional video resources, although, gosh, it's the Internet, right? So there has to be tons. Uh, Do I know of anybody that does, you know, what I do for audio podcasting for video? I, I know that those people exist. I'm just not network, networked with those people. Um, so I don't know who they are, who knows what they're doing, what, you know, what their motives are behind the kind of information that they share um, and stuff like that. So I, I don't have any further resources myself other than just being able to answer questions related to my, again, my somewhat limited, although in my mind, you know, what, what I think is limited experience, some other people may see as expert experience. I don't know. Um, cause I don't know where you are at in the journey of video and stuff, but anyway, I hope that this has answered your questions. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I'm, I'm using, uh, you stream producer to record this video right here. And, um, uh, I actually am bringing the, uh, the video out of my, uh, Canon Vixia HFG 30 into this device here, which I hope I can bring it up without unplugging it. This is a Black Magic Intensity Extreme device, Thunderbolt. And uh, that's coming into my Mac computer, which brings you know the audio that's being piped into the camera and that video from the camera with the audio into the Black Magic device via the HDMI to mini HDMI. And then it goes from that 
Thunderbolt cable into the Thunderbolt in my computer. And then it there's software from Blackmagic that I don't know that I could actually reconfigure without going out and searching for a couple hours on the t- to find the tut- same tutorial that I found to hook it up the first time. But um, yeah, so anyway, again, that, can all this stuff be done? Absolutely. Um, what I would do is if you're going to think about taking the podcasting A to Z course, I would get signed up as soon as you are able to. Um, and yeah, cause I think it's going to sell out. It's going to be in January. Uh, it starts, I think January 12th, if I remember correctly off the top of my head. And, um, it will, it will definitely fill up because, uh, it's normally I would have a course in either October or November. I'm not having a session in October, November, or December this year. So, uh, given that it'll be three months until my next course, it's definitely going to fill up, but I would love to have you in it. I hope that this video gives you some idea of the type of responses I give to my students. And I just wanted to give you a taste of, of the kind of uh, attention and, and detail that you'll get from me if you were to become a podcasting A to Z student. Anyway, Gabe, I look forward to potentially working with you. I'll get this online. Thanks. Bye-bye.